I'm a woman who started going bald in my 30s and people are saying it's because of my vegan diet. Losing your hair on a vegan diet. I know about this because it happened to me. Vegans, vegetarians, anybody who limits animal protein is instantly creating a problem theoretically for their hair. And the rest of the body. This stuff is, is vital for health. So animal proteins aren't going to just be abundant in bioavailable amino acids, but you're also going to find B vitamins, including B6 and B12, which don't exist in plants. Heme iron, rather than non-heme iron, which we need for the hair, heme iron. You're also going to find lots of zinc, and zinc levels in a vegan diet are going to be low anyway, but because they're consuming so many grains, nuts, seeds, legumes, these are high in lectins, they deplete zinc. And so there's no wonder that their hair is falling out. And we should be eating meat for general purposes. Now, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan and you've got obviously reasons for that, I totally get it. I was a vegetarian for nine years. Just don't make that reason health. When I went vegan, I did lose a lot of hair. My hair has been falling out like really significantly to the point where my hair is, is probably half of the volume it was before. And I really believe it has to do something with my diet. I've been struggling with hair loss for about a year now. Still vegan, of course. I thought maybe it's just... <laughs> Still vegan, of course. They can't put the two and two together. Or maybe they don't care. Maybe the reason why they're vegan is for the animals, you know, even though they're killing more animals than a lion diet. You know, some people are like, how is that possible? Well, if you're eating just red meat, you, you might get through one cow per year. If you're eating grains and legumes and fruits and vegetables from all over the planet and you're, you're having monocrops deliver you your food and vessels coming from all different parts of the globe delivering you your food, you're killing way more animals. Your carbon footprint is higher. I eat nothing but organic red meat. My food doesn't eat grains. They eat grass, right? So Coming out because of, you know, all the bleach and the damage until my mom and my girlfriend started having the same problem and they eat very similar to me. I wanted to talk about my hair loss on this raw vegan fruitarian diet. It's raw is even worse because of all the lectins that are gonna be there that you could potentially cook out, right? So if you were going to, for example, cook up brown rice, you're gonna get rid of a lot of the lectins. You're not really cooking nuts and seeds, so you're not getting rid of the lectins. If you're having cereal in the morning, you're not cooking or soaking that, unless it's oats, I guess, but otherwise it's gonna contain a lot of lectins. For me, it's, it's like standard Western diet and then raw vegan, or they're probably up there. They're, they're about as bad as each other because you're just eating so many toxins. That's why a lot of the foods are so bitter. They're just so toxic. Way thinner. The hair you see right now is all of my hair. There's no hair behind me. When I first started this lifestyle, in the first three months, my hair was falling out in clunks. I had hair coming out in clumps. Every time I would shower, there was just tons of hair shedding everywhere and I was afraid to like brush my hair. The comments and questions often are, why is Natasha's hair so thin? I have extremely thin hair. In fact, not only do I have thin hair, but I don't have a lot of it. Baby orangutan fluff. Vegan. <laughs> Her words, not mine. No comment. Veganism was the right choice for us. And yeah, I started losing hair and honestly, I was like, how much hair is it? is normal to lose a day. So if you I think they say something like 50 to 150 or something like that. I mean, obviously we lose strands of hair every single day and that's normal, but you're not supposed to notice it. You're not supposed to kind of look at your pillow and see like a big clump of hair or around your feet in the shower or in your hands after washing your hair. That's not normal. That's a big indication to the fact that you're not eating a very healthy diet, right? We're not herbivores. If you do have hair loss, don't freak out and think, oh my God, this raw veganism is so bad your hair falls out yeah it does because all the toxins are trying to come out from the root of your hair toxins are trying to come out any way they can pens and, and paper guys just take notes i've learned something today so if i start losing a load of hair i'm all good i'm just detoxing cool forks over knives came in i watched that and my previous career was in filmmaking mm. and kind of the creative stuff so i understood what was going on there the emotional pull yeah. to try to sell an idea and you got to be careful and you need to do your own fact checking. But, you know, I was emotionally pulled by that a little bit and I was like, you know, I'm not going to knock this until I try it. One side note is it's a chore to eat that way. I bet. Half of my life was. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, actually. I mean, the, the amount of different plant sources that you have to put on your plate just to try to get a balance of nutrients. You're not going to get a balance of nutrients. That's why your hair's falling out. 
That's why the skin goes the way that it does, the, the dark circles around the eyes, the teeth, the you know, meth mouth, what it looks like. Vegan diets are not healthy. Humans are designed to eat amino acids and fats from animals. Vitamins A, D, E and K basically don't exist in plant foods because you're getting the wrong forms, you know, D2 rather than D3, K1 rather than K2, carotenoids rather than retinol. And it goes on and on. And within the animal proteins, you're getting B6, you're getting B12. You're getting so many other nutrients that are also far more bioavailable. And that's why it's healthy. It's nuts. I mean, unless you want to just make an example out of yourself, I wouldn't go vegan. And food mm. and cooking it and not a really productive way to live, in my opinion. No. <laughs> it was difficult. Um, but yeah, you know, I tried it out, but then I started losing some muscle. Mm. And I, I felt kind of fragile. And around two months in or so, well, I had one comment from my wife. I was getting a little emotional about things all the time now. Ooh, I don't know uh, what led into that, but she told me to to stop eating the soy. So <laughs> just doing a lot of tofu. Burn and, by the wifey. Burn. Yeah. I love it. Um, Endocrine disruptors, right? But the final straw was I was taking a shower one day and uh, I put shampoo in my hair and I'm kind of I moving my hands around and I just glanced at my hand and I had a, a hand full of hair. Oy. My hair started falling out. You know, I had brain fog and my mm. hair was falling out. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to put an end to this experiment. This is that one's done. done. Yeah. 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 Game over. Move on. So I went, I think the first thing I ate after that was I ate a whole giant tub of full fat yogurt. Yeah. Um, I ate a steak and man, did I feel pretty good <laughs> after that. Let's go. Yeah. Do you guys remember when I was a diehard vegan and I had a V tattooed in my ear and I thought that I was going to be vegan forever? I actually eat steaks like twice a week now because I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> know thyself. Don't follow trends. Know thyself. So I was vegan. Only you can save yourself. It must get to that point where you think, right, enough's enough. This isn't worth this. My mum doesn't want to see me deteriorate like this. My children, my sister, my brother, my friends, my co-workers, you know, let's look after ourselves. Again, I honestly don't remember for how long, probably because my brain wasn't functioning that well. Anyways, I had a good diet too. I was eating like a lot of the proper foods. I was supplementing some things as well. I ate one piece of meat, I immediately felt better. Immediately, like it was like light and day. This is always the case. This is what they always say, you know, I had that salmon and that night felt amazing. The next morning, our problems went away or like instantly the food went in my mouth obviously nutrients were like flooding the bloodstream and my body was just like oh yes this is this is exactly what i need maybe it's because you haven't been eating real food for a long time the lights flickered on in my brain and my body was like oh my god food <laughs> so i've been eating meat for like four years now i feel amazing um yeah it's just crazy i introduced the animal products back into my diet i noticed that my hair wasn't shedding as much. I hadn't had red meat in almost nine years. I ended up going to Zurich and it's really hard to be a vegetarian in Zurich because they really like to eat meat there. And I was trying to find a vegetarian meal and I just, my, my gut was all screwed up and my body, you know, was having all, all the fiber and the gluten and the lectins, but hey, plants and plant power sorts of uh, other inflammatory issues, but they run in my family and I didn't have a choice but to eat a, a burger. And I was like, you know what? I haven't had a burger in forever. I'm like, I'm just gonna have a burger. So I went and I had a burger. And for the first time, and I don't know how long, the amount of energy that I got from eating red meat, it was just like I was invigorated. My body was probably starving for all of these things that I wasn't testing for at the time, you know, zinc, ferritin, serum iron, B vitamins, you know, these things that I- Exactly what I said, this is what we need for hair. We need for our health and well-being. And this guy was vegetarian, so he was probably eating eggs and fish and stuff like that, yet he still noticed a difference when he put some red meat in the system. So that's incredible. And it's a burger, it's probably overcooked. So it just goes to show, you know, when what people are worrying about, and uh, look, pay for what you can afford. I buy organic, grass-fed, grass-finished. They only eat grass. I believe in that. I prioritize that. But it just goes to show, doesn't it? You know, even a burger with all that other stuff, there's red meat there, and that made all the difference. That's the importance of red meat. I was supplementing for a little bit, but nothing to basically what you need to compensate for by eating it. I'm a woman. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.